Hello and welcome to the Ecosystem Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to download the Ecosystem, which is an awesome add-on for Playmaker that helps you find new actions, samples to deconstruct and poke around in, even repurpose for your own things. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come up here to Playmaker, Add-ons, and select Download Add-ons. This will bring up the page where you can download the Ecosystem. So it's right here at the top, Ecosystem Browser. And then you can come here to Ecosystem Browser Package. So when you click on this, it'll ask you to save this Unity Package file. It's the ecosystem.unity package. This is totally up to you as to where to save it. So for me, I went to the Assets folder of my current Unity project, and I have this folder here called My Packages that I made myself, and I'll just save the Ecosystem Package in here. So I'm gonna hit Save, saves it. And now in my Unity project, I can come over here to My Packages, and I can double click the ecosystem package and then hit import, let it compile. And now the ecosystem should be installed. So you can come up here to Playmaker, add-ons, ecosystem, ecosystem browser. Okay, so here is our ecosystem browser. If it's your first time installing the ecosystem, it'll give you this little disclaimer that says, by using this ecosystem, you understand that we'll be able to download content, raw scripts, and Unity packages from various online sources and install them on your computer with this project. And you'll see down here, it says this ecosystem is powered by GitHub. That's because the ecosystem, which is where all these awesome new custom actions are, are C-sharp scripts hosted on GitHub. And the ecosystem just pulls them from there and just kind of puts it into a nice convenient browser form that you can access from Unity. So once you agree to those terms, this is what your ecosystem will look like. You have your filters here, then this is the search bar, and then you have the browse feature. If I just hit the browse feature, it'll let you browse a bunch of actions that are on the ecosystem, but this won't be showing everything. What you could do is type in keywords to see if anybody made an action that'll help you out with whatever you're trying to do. So for example, you could search up controller, and it'll give me all these actions for controllers. There's get runtime animator controller, check for game controllers, webcam controller. You'll see that when you mouse over these, it gives you three buttons. This question mark, preview, and get. So if you know for sure that this is what you want, then you could just hit this get button and it'll download it. It says Unity is compiling. And then once this goes away, you should be able to come over to your actions and type in get runtime animator controller. And there's the new action that we just downloaded. Now these other two buttons, this question mark and this preview, if you hit the question mark, it'll give you a preview of what the action does. So you can see this little snapshot of the action itself. And if you wanted to hit preview, it'll open up the file's GitHub page where you can inspect the C-sharp itself. And this helps because sometimes you can just come over here and read the tool tip for it. It says set or change the runtime animator controller of an animator component to switch the animation playing. All right, so this just kind of gives you a better idea of what it does before you download it. Now we also have this filter button and currently it says everything is searched. So that's actions, packages, templates, and samples. So if you wanted to narrow your search, you can use one of these buttons. So let's say I just wanted to look for some packages and hit browse. Now I'm browsing all these packages and you can see the type is listed over here on the left. These are all packages. They have the little blue label and actions and packages that you already have installed will be labeled as green. And you can see that when you mouse over it, it'll also say imported. What's nice is it gives you this little label underneath which shows you how the action itself or package will categorize itself in your action browser. So this Mathos actions will be categorized under math. So next time you're working on something, you might wanna just pop over to the ecosystem and try searching a term to help you solve that problem. Cause really you could just search stuff like camera and it gives me these camera actions. You could do player. It'll give me these player actions. There's so many actions on the ecosystem and a lot of them are very insanely useful. So definitely grab the ecosystem. It's a must have when you're programming with Playmaker. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.